gonna launch it today? I don't know, but I, we told them we were gonna work on something. Let's do it. Good morning. Hi guys. Hi guys from the Fry Lord. There's got a hot cup of scanty shake. Mm -hmm. And Ooh, careful. Yeah. I've got a meeting here at the house and then um, having some people over for Bible study tonight. So I'm gonna Mary's gonna hang out up here and we will see you guys a little later. And who knows what we're gonna get into after that. Actually I did have an idea. Oh. You know that thing we were talking about launching on the store? Yeah. You wanna work on that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Guys. I just finished up with my meetings for the night and I made myself some leftover taco dinner and guess what? The avocado that I let the cashier pick for me was a good one. So cashier at Stop and Shop, I doubt you watch my videos, but thanks. And how are you doing, sweetie? I came downstairs. You threw up. Yep. That happened. And moving on. We just uh, trimmed up Oliver's legs with scissors and he's looking a little more chiseled. And Mary's gonna do some yoga with her yoga wheel. Yeah. <coughs> yep. you, you mucus factory, you. <laughs> do what you think you can't do. <coughs> That's what I'm gonna do. watching a show and we still have a little surprise that we are we gonna launch it today I don't know but I we told them we were gonna work on something let's do it all right the the machines upstairs working so Ooh. look she's eating some apples and banana I like to eat eight eight apples I and bananas I had a stomach ache but is it okay, okay right, right now? now? Nice. And this is what sounded good. Oh. Sounds good. What do you think, Bones? Does that sound good? I think he might prefer if we get off the couch so he can spread out. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Family snuggle time. Um. I'll, I'll update you guys when we... We're watching a show right now, so... So we'll see you guys later. Bye. But I talked to my doctor, so I'll update you in a little bit. And then I got hungry again. Now I'm eating potatoes and eggs. Well, one egg. Because the last time I ate eggs, I got super sick to my stomach. And I think I, like, promised to myself I'd never eat eggs again. So I ate an egg, and it was amazing. Eggs are amazing. 
What? You're funny. I'm not gonna show them what you're working on. I did speak with my doctor earlier this evening. There were like a lot of different points that we talked about. So I'm trying to like keep them organized in my mind. The first thing is we are gonna go ahead and get the NJ to place the naso jejunum, I believe it's called. It's a feeding tube that goes through the nose and then down past the stomach into the um, small intestine, I guess. And that will hopefully help my body absorb some nutrients that it is lacking right now because I am, because my body is fighting so hard right now, I'm burning so many calories just breathing. We're going to go ahead and get that in place and start that and see if my body's able to tolerate that and just get that on the roll. On the roll. Is that a I term? Don't know. Now it is. So another thing he mentioned was on my CAT scan they noticed bronchiolitis. There were other words, but I believe bronchiolitis was the main term. Um, <clears throat> and so we may try some steroids to see if that will help. Um, unfortunately, the last time I was on steroids, it really did not help. In fact, I got worse on them, but maybe this time it will help. And maybe there's a different one that we might try. We also are going to try a different IV antibiotic that I've never tried before. There's a few other things, but for right now, the plan is he was gonna <clears throat> he was gonna start setting up an admission for me tomorrow if there's a bed available. They want to bring me in, and it'll hopefully just be for a couple of days. And the purpose of this short stay will be placing the J-tube, getting the feedings sorted out, <coughs> we are going to send basically another, so remember how our lab results from my culture came back inconclusive? There's another test that they want to do, so they need like good fresh sputum samples, which means when I cough up mucus, spit it into a cup and they're gonna send it to the lab, but for a really special, like unique test that they're gonna do on it to see if they can really, really try to identify which species of that non-tuberculosis mycobacterium. <clears throat> so we are going to accomplish some things while I'm in. <clears throat> may or may not start steroids, may or may not start IV antibiotics to treat the pseudomonas. Um, I think for this admission, we're just going to do the J-tube, get some, get the further testing done. I might start. There's, there are a few options, but the main purpose of this couple day stay will be to get some nutrition on board and get some further testing. So that might be happening while this vlog is being uploaded who knows or maybe a bed won't be available or maybe he'll call me tomorrow and they'll come up with they will have a different plan I don't know but for now that's what I know so I felt good about that plan and then I told Peter about it when his meeting was over and he felt good about it and so we're just gonna keep the discussion going and then I assume when we meet with my doctor in person um maybe tomorrow if I see him tomorrow. Um, we will talk more about how to, like who to get in touch with as far as the transplant team and kind of what the next steps are for that. So for now, we just keep um, doing our jobs here, like just working to keep my body as, as well as it can be. So <clears throat> today was definitely like, I was really thankful that I was able to do exercise, which was hard, but I'm glad I did it because earlier in the day had been like a pretty rough day for my lungs, like just a lot of mucus. Man, CF life is so glamorous. It 
Yeah, I don't love the mucus. Mucus. Not. Okay, guys. You want to see what I worked on last night? I put up my map on the wall. I'm really excited. This is in my office, which is our junk room. <laughs> I don't know what this room is. This is where stuff just gets put for now. Um, until I get my desk done and I set up a space. It's just kind of like our transition, which is actually kind of nice. It's like a transition area for us so that, I don't know, we can put stuff here to deal with at our next dealing with stuff time. So, that was pretty cool. I got that done. I did a couple of things. I put that up last night and our toilet paper holder in the bathroom, in the cool bathroom, the downstairs bathroom with the cow head. It, it wasn't tight on the wall. And so, <laughs> every time you go to get toilet paper, it would like fall. And I, I had to replace the hardware in here. So I got that done. So, I don't know, last night I was just in like a productive mode. Uh, what else did I get done? Got done some laundry and whatever else. But, uh, we are working on our special project. Mary's doing her best, working on a couple steps. And we'll show you very soon. Look what Mary's doing. We are in the process. In the process. Something for you guys. You, you didn't see it, did you? Alright guys, Mary's working on another step of the process and the good old machine over here is working away. <laughs> Get all that vinyl. Alright you guys, are you ready for the big reveal? Ready to see what we've been making for you guys? We've had this idea for a long, long time. Months. And we were like, we want to do this at a time. <laughs> <laughs> when we can mass produce and have them available to ship and everything. So, we worked really hard tonight and here it is. You open it up and inside is... Ta-da! Laugh Every Day t-shirt decals. decals! Check it out. It is iron on Laugh Every Day, the fry life. It comes in a little package like this. Open it up, it's got instructions, and then you have your t-shirt design. All you need is an iron, and there's a video to show you how to do it. But these are available on our online store, and you guys can go check it out. Our store is mkt.com slash thefrylife, and we've got a bunch made ready to come out to you guys. Ollie, do you think that the people are going to like that shirt? Oh, he blinked. Oh, he blinked, that so means they're going to like yes. it. Yes. And I am so excited that we get to launch these. And um, thank you guys for your encouragement on our video we published today, which was, if you missed it, we talked about the conversation that we had with my doctor yesterday about the fact that we are now going to be getting in contact with a transplant team. Lung transplant isn't something that I am needing immediately. But because my lungs have been struggling more for the last few months, that is where we need to go. That's the direction we need to go in. So with all of that kind of heavy news, um, I'm really excited that we get to launch these fun shirts that remind us to laugh every day. We can't wait to see pictures of you guys wearing them and representing the fry life yeah. all over the world tweet us pictures or tag us on Instagram or whatever. Because it is a decal that you can put on whatever you want, you can choose whatever size, color, type of shirt you want to put it on. I was thinking today... I'd suggest maybe not a white shirt. Oh yeah, probably not a white shirt. <laughs> it's a white decal. Even if you had like a sweatshirt blanket or something, you could put it on your sweatshirt yeah. blanket or I guess even a pillowcase. Yeah, it just on the has end to, of a pillowcase. It just has to be a smooth fabric surface. Um, Not super stretchy. Yeah, nothing like spandex, but it could be cotton or polyester or anything in between. Canvas. Yeah, it'll um, go on canvas. Jeans. Like, if you wanted to put it, yep. Yeah, if that you would, wanted, like, I don't know. Really, deck out your jeans. You put it right across your bum. Peter! 
<laughs> you could even put it like down your sleeve of a hoodie or something. Yeah. Or, and we even tried one, we put it on the back of my shirt, so when you're standing in line, people can read your shirt. Don't forget to laugh every day. And if you would like to get a decal for yourself, it will be $7, free shipping. And, as, as always, always, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night.